on the total number of deceased individuals, ha have you gone behind those numbers to determine how many of those individuals, if any, actually voted in the last election? I really didn't want to. Um, in honesty, the answer is yes. Um, I not intentionally lied to our attorney general. He had a conversation with me after the fact, said, what about those dead guys? Anybody vote? Have you run that data? Is it available? At the time, I believe the answer was we didn't have access to that, uh, that data subset. Uh, I slept on it, bugged me all night long, so I came back and asked my, uh, the guy that was working the technology piece for me, is there anything in there that lists two critical things? Number one, uh, does it list by individual, by social security number, uh, an individual, uh, individual's date of death and date of voting activity, because the two have to be there to determine whether or not dead guys vote. And the answer is yes. There is a field that says date of death. There is a field that says last time voted. And there, uh, because there are some statistical anomalies in the, in, in the numbers, and I'll just pull them on out here. Um, Uh, there are there are 957 individuals that would have voted while, after after they had died. Uh, there are some statistical anomalies, and again, what I'm not trying to do is read into that. I'll share with you those statistical anomalies. There were individuals that had um, the different names, different birth dates, but used the same social security number, which means that somebody would have had to have come in with the social security number gone, in my opinion, to the uh, elections commission with that social security number and registered under one name, somebody would have had to have come in and registered with a different name and date of birth using the same social security number. So I haven't really tried to tie those in. I can't just, I cannot explain how that happened. In two cases, what it appears to, uh, what it appears to happen is it appears that a wife um, used uh, her husband's uh, social security number to vote after after dead. And again, we've got a, a by name breakdown and social security number. Now, just because I see cameras in the things, there's going to be people that says, can I have that by name list? The answer is no. You know, by name list is, is a no-go. Uh, I, 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 uh, based upon uh, being told that when we found out that there were quote unquote dead guys uh, uh, voting, uh, I, I was inclined to release the list to the Attorney General, and the Attorney General is in fact passing the case on to SLED so that they can do an investigation. Uh, because what I don't want to do is, is know that a crime has been committed, dead guys voting, and to sit down and do nothing with it. Uh, I, I hadn't planned on, on bringing it up in, in open session, but the fact of the matter is, uh, at, well over 900 individuals appear to have voted after they died. Of the 957, how many of those are of the sort of anomaly that you described? Um, you're going to have to ask me for a professional guess, okay? And that's what I will give you. Thank you. Uh, if I were to tell you about how many I think that, uh, that weren't anomalies, the number would be somewhere between 9 and a quarter and 940. And you know, again, you know, did did I look at it from the perspective of the elections commission? The answer is no. Uh, what I took was their raw data and ran it against, you know, three credible databases: Vital Statistics, Social Security, and uh, and Phoenix, which is mine. And I can't account for obviously in this whole process for uh, how this social, uh, the the elections commission. Um, uses names uh, that don't correspond to legal names and I can't account for in that whole thing anything to where somebody makes up information to put it down in order to vote in terms of social security number, the 000 or 9999. Do you know whether the Elections Commission has access to the same data that you had with regard to those that uh, were deceased as opposed to the last time they voted? 
Um, they, they asked us to pass them the files back, I think it was right around the 1st of December, of which ones were deceased, the, the 37,000. And we passed that file back to them. Uh, I think they picked, picked it up off our server around the 3rd of December. 3rd of December, ballpark. Do you, do you regularly provide information uh, to the Elections Commission when they request information such as your, your, your death database? The, the, the answer is, uh, to my knowledge, not, number one, we don't do it on a regular basis that I'm aware of. Uh, we, we, we did have a regulatory requirement to provide them information, I want to say initially, as of like the 1st of October, and a, and, and a subsequent follow-up on or about the 1st of December, uh, in which we did. 